Last time we did a haul video, we went to Walmart and I showed you guys what I got and you loved it. But in the comment questions, I asked you guys, where do you want me to do my next haul video? And your answer was loud and clear. You wanted me to go to Target. So that's exactly what Chad and I did over the weekend. We got a whole bunch of great stuff and you see, we were kind of debating. We're like, should we make this a holiday haul? You know, cause all YouTubers are making holiday hauls right now and showing you all these great gifts that you can buy for the holiday season. And gosh, I, I just don't know how much I can possibly convince you to buy cleaning stuff for somebody for Christmas. Like, isn't that grounds for divorce or something? Either way, I'm gonna show you what I got. And just so you know, I actually have two giant bags from Target, but I'm gonna put these back on the floor so that each time I dig in and pull something out, you don't hear all of that and you can actually see what I'm talking about right in front of me. All right, let's get to it. The first thing I got was a pair of garment protectors. And we had a bunch of garment protectors and then when we cleaned out our closet during the spring cleaning videos, we actually got rid of them. And then of course I needed garment bags when uh, I was going to my sister's wedding and just recently. So I figured, you know what? Time to get some of these. They were about five bucks. I got a pair of them. All is good. The next thing I picked up were these Kleenex Slim Pack packages and they're really cute. It's like a little, how many do you get in here? I think you get six of these little mini uh, Kleenex packages and they come in these cute little designs. They're designed for, well, this lady is sticking it in her pocket, but I certainly do not expect nor imagine that anybody would do this. Um, but they're really good, you know, for carrying around in your purse or leaving in the car, especially with cold and flu season coming or if you see like a really cheesy holiday commercial and you break into tears and then it becomes an ugly cry and you don't want an ugly cry, you at least have Kleenex on you. So these were really awesome. The next thing I picked up was a pair of these Room Essential RE little drawer organizers. And the reason I got these is because I recently put in a new medicine cabinet in my bathroom and I also put in a new makeup medicine cabinet thing in my office, although no real office -y work happens in there. Uh, anyway, so I needed some containers and I've been looking around for some that weren't too wide, weren't too long, weren't too shallow. So these ones seem to be just right, but I have to give them a try first and see if I really like them. I plan on using these to keep, you know, bottles or makeup or little hair accessories. So these are a pretty good deal. I think they were about three bucks each. Next thing I picked up was this OXO Softworks dish dispensing, soap dish dispensing brush, dish dispensing brush. What kind of brush is that? I really like these. We have the uh, sponge on a stick upstairs in the kitchen and those are good. My only beef with them is the sponge gets really kind of nasty and I'm sure you guys know about this. I have to change out the sponge often. So the reason I like this brush is because nylon bristles are easier to clean. You can clean them in the dishwasher. I find you don't have to replace the heads as often. And I also like the fact that you can control how much soap is going out each time. That's really nice. So I'm excited that we got one of these. Fancy. Next thing, I got this little pair. This is Clorox on the right, well, my right side, we have the flexible brush. Imagine a flexible toilet brush. Is this really happening? And the reason we got this is because we currently have some really old, cheesy, cheap Ikea toilet bowl brushes. And frankly, I'm of the mind that you really need to replace that stuff every now and then. So, I mean, you can clean it and as often as you like, but at the end of the day, you want to refresh this stuff every now and then. So I figured we would get some new ones for the house. We actually got three of each. That's because we have three bathrooms. Here we have a plunger self-contained in this beautiful little container. It's got an easy grip handle for all your plunging needs. 
And the reason we decided to do this was twofold. First of all, I like the fact that it has a case. You know, plungers, toilet bowl brushes, kind of not the most sexy, exciting things in the world. You want to conceal it as much as possible. Also, it's a lot cleaner putting it back in a container than it is just straight up putting it on the floor. Secondly, I like the fact that it's plastic because those wood-handled plungers, well, of course, you can really give her with a wood-handled plunger. Water creeps up that wood and sort of lives in there. I know we've talked about untreated wood several times. That's usually the handle on a plunger. I start to think what's happening with the, you know, fecal contaminated in water and wood and just, you know, my mind goes into deep dark corners and I don't like where it goes. So I like the fact that this is plastic, it's cleaner, that's really the bottom line. And I'm gonna throw these right at Chad right now. <laughs> Let's hope I don't whack him in the face. On to bag number two. I picked up this Casabella four gallon storage caddy. And well, of course, you could store a lot of things in this storage caddy. I like this for cleaning products, what a surprise. The reason I liked this one in particular was because this one's deep. So the other storage caddy that I have, uh, I think it's a Vileta one, and it, I'm sure you've seen in other videos, it's shorter and it's red. This one's actually deep so your bottles can stand up straight, they won't tip over, and you can also sling other things over the side. It also has this little divider in here, pretty cute, pretty handy, it's plastic, easy to clean, not a bad choice. Next, I got this drain protector with four suction cups. A lot of you guys talk to me about your hair getting stuck in the drain in your shower or your tub. Trust me, I know about this. I have long hair. Uh, this is really what you need to protect it. It's this little drain trap and your hair gets stuck in there. Then you can just pick it up, throw it in the garbage, and you don't have to worry about clogging up your drains, which is a huge issue. It's really something you don't want to have to deal with. And I could tell you stories about when that happened to me many years ago. Anyway, get one of these. I also came across this electronics cleaning brush. So here you have this pen style retractable cleaning brush. It almost looks like a little makeup brush here on the top. It's very soft and fluffy and lovely and fun to play with. It also has the silicone picker, also known as the wiper, on the bottom half here, and it's got a little plastic case. And this can be used to clean all kinds of electronics from your laptop to your phone. I think you could also use this to clean costume jewelry or, gosh, I don't know, other delicate things around the house. This is a handy little thing to have in your cleaning caddy. Okay, kind of random, but the next thing I got is this little flexible soap tray. Reason being, I don't know about you, but every now and then when I get gifts, they include bars of soap. And I don't know, I just feel guilty after a while. They stack up, I don't know what to do with them. Do I use them? Do I throw them out? So I figured, you know what, rather than buying new soap, I'm just gonna use up all of this bar soap. But I didn't have a little soap tray, so I picked up one of these. Totally boring story, but that's why I bought it. The next thing I got was this bottle of Dawn Ultra Caribbean Breeze. It's a Dawn Escapes uh, product. And okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those guys that like stands in the aisle and sniffs everything for 10 minutes and decides, you know, which product I want based on the smell. And then I like narrow it down and then I have to do like a smell off. So I don't know if you guys are like that, but I am. Let me know if you are in the comments below. If you ever see me at Target, I'll probably be smelling like shampoo or hand soap or dish soap. Anyway, they had so many different new interesting flavors, scents of dish soap. So I finally decided that I was gonna get this one. It smells really nice. And because the weather is so crappy outside right now, Caribbean Breeze kind of sounds like a good idea. Anyway, I'm gonna hand this one to Chad since I feel like if it spills, that's not gonna be fun to clean up. There you go, thank you. Okay, the next thing I got is Caldrea hand lotion for the kitchen. So. Uh, my fancy friends have this stuff in their house, so I was like, I wanna be fancy too. So I picked some of this up, and of course I had to smell, I think they had like six different scents, so I had to smell all of them. And I was like, Chad, which one do you like better? And we're like standing in the aisle, smell testing hand cream on a Sunday. There you go, that's our life. Anyway, um, we decided on this one, it is black currant mint. It smells really good, and after doing dishes or cleaning up after a meal, my hands get super duper dry, so I think having hands, hand cream in the kitchen hand lotion is a pretty good idea. Catch. 
Okay, super boring, I know, but everybody has to wash their dishes. These were on sale, Cascade Citrus Scent Action Packs. Nothing says action like some dishwasher packs. This is an all-purpose squeegee by Oxo Softworks. And the reason I picked this one up because I do have other squeegees, but here is the deal. The other squeegees that I have have a smaller blade. It's about that big. And also, there's no way to hang it up in my bathroom. And if you guys have watched enough of my videos, you know that I'm a huge proponent of squeegeeing, squeegeeing, there's a new word, off your shower walls and your tub or your shower floor. Uh, because if you do that, A, there's no moisture, so no mold or mildew, and B, you remove all the liquid and all the soap scum so that your tiles dry perfectly clean. So if you can spend another minute or two as soon as you finish your shower, just quickly squeegeeing, you will basically never have to clean your shower. So I like this one because it has a little plunger so I can put it up on my shower wall instead of always hearing the cat go swat and then hearing my squeegee fall to the ground, which scares me at two in the morning. While Chad and I were pushing the buggy through the aisles of Target and picking out things for this haul video, we were having a little bit of a chit chat and we want to get your feedback on something. You see, from now until the end of the year, all we're doing is releasing holiday videos. And one thing that we definitely want to do is some sort of holiday Q&A video. The questions don't necessarily have to be holiday related, but we do want to do some sort of Q&A. We're of two camps. One of us thinks, hey, we should do a live event, and the other one thinks, hey, no, we should get questions ahead of time and then film a Q&A video and put that up. So I wanna know, do you guys on the Saturday before Christmas, might be the 20th, I think, if you guys wanna have a CMS live event and if a lot of you guys will be hanging out and participating with us, or if we should just get your questions ahead of time and cut a video together answering all of your questions and putting that up right before Christmas. So please let me know your opinions in the comment box down below. And at the same time, let me know if we do a haul video again, which I'm sure we will, where you want to see us do our little holiday or non-holiday haul next. A lot of you guys have also been asking about where our other holiday videos are at because we've been at this for a while now. We've had a few Christmases under our belt and we do have a lot of these videos available. So what we're gonna do is create a playlist for you called holiday playlist or something creative like that. And you guys can check out all of our holiday videos, including the 12 days of clean. Don't forget to tag me, Chad, or Clean My Space in any of your photos. We love Instagram, by the way. I'm at Melissa Maker, he's at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And now it's that magical time of the week where I do get back to some of your comment questions. So last week's video, we got some really great feedback about the lemon, so let's get right into it. First question comes from the super happy one, who is a frequent commenter, so thank you very much. And the super happy one asks, how many lemons did you go through while filming this video? Great question. Before the video, Chad went out and bought two of those giant mesh size bags of lemons and I'd say there were about 18 lemons in total. We probably went through eight of them, so maybe we have 10 left or maybe it's the other way around. So there's going to be a lot of lemon activity going on in the Maker Reynolds household for the next little bit. Janice Upton says, where did you get that little red thing in your sink that holds your sponge? Would love to get one. That is this, it's called the holster. Um, they have them in all kinds of different sizes from this one to a smaller wider one to a larger wider one. You can use them for a variety of different things including for your hair accessories, in the kitchen, you can use it in the bathroom. So definitely check them out. Holster or little holster or Lil, like Lil, he was a little dog, just a little dog like L-I-L, okay? That's where you're gonna go. The next question comes from Alia Ginger and it says, my favorite is the baking soda. I love it. I also love your videos. P.S. Hello from Russia and Elia to you I say, Privyet from Toronto. And Mo Smith says, can you use a lime instead of a lemon? And surprisingly a lot of you guys ask me this. 
And me being me, I thought a lemon, a lime, tomato, tomato, they're available everywhere. You know, wherever you can get a lemon, you can get a lime and vice versa. This is not the case. I found out places like Thailand and Brazil is actually quite difficult to get a lemon. Who knew? So, although I have not tried doing any of the cleaning with lime, we have done a little bit of research and have found out that a lime should generally work the same as a lemon. So please go right ahead and lime it up. Thanks so much, guys. This has been a lot of fun. I look forward to answering more of your questions next week in this segment of the video, and we'll see you then.